Hi guys, it's Jimmy. And in front of you, I have the um, Patek Philippe magazine. The latest one I've just got, it's uh, volume five, number one. It's the third magazine I've got since I began collecting Patek Philippe. And uh, I thought we'd just go through it and have a look because they're really beautiful magazines. But before I do, I just wanted to give a shout out to um, uh, the Amiga enthusiast. Um, he's a vintage watch YouTube channel. Um, I think he's based out of Canada, but uh, his knowledge is absolutely exceptional when it comes to pretty much all brands is uh, heavily into vintage watches and he really shares his knowledge. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys will be familiar with his channel. So that again is a uh, Amiga enthusiast. Uh, recently he reached out to me and other vintage collectors to do a short video uh, about our collections and I've recently uh, did just a very quick small video for him which is uploaded and uh, yeah I just wanted to uh, give him a shout out and uh, ask you guys if, if you'd like to follow him it'd be well worth your while his channel is amazing I've learned a lot watching it um, and you know he's giving out this advice for free uh, it really helps you if you're in the market for buying a vintage watch um, he goes really deep and uh, yeah, his knowledge is exceptional. So yeah guys, um, let's get to this book here. So yeah, we'll have a look in here. Since my last video, still wearing my Submariner. Cleaned that bezel out, uh, but definitely needs parts replaced. And I did actually just, when was it? Just yesterday it was. I went into town, went to uh, uh, the Rolex Service Center. Unfortunately, it is closed at the moment as they're relocating. Uh, rang the number that was uh, just on the lift door and was told that to get the watch serviced or you know get the repair done, I would have to take it into an authorized dealer. Um, I then asked if they know when they're reopening. The lady couldn't give me a date. So I'm just gonna wait till till next year. I'm sure they'll open up sometime in January. I would like to take the watch there myself to see if I can get the turnaround time a little bit quicker. Because I think if I take it to the authorized dealer, it might just drag out. Um, but anyway, here it is. The Patek Philippe magazine. This beautiful front page just gorgeous um, and if we open up I just have to grab two pages here because that one's got my information on it it's kind of nice that it's got a bit of a letter in the front here that, that piece there uh, and it's sort of done in a personal way with your name and everything it's quite nice um, this let me just move that piece The little story is, I really like it. It's very, it's, it's straight to the point. No, not over exaggerated or anything. I'll just put it in frame there so you can read that. I really like that. It's a nice touch. Um, anyway, not to take too much time. We'll just flick through. You know, have a quick look. Um, there's your contents. You've got your contributors. You know, it goes from, you know, fashion to food to what have you. Um, of course the book hat is promoting their own product but it very much is about all these other con uh, contributors in here uh, yeah usually a lot of fashion and stuff to be honest I haven't read all this stuff yet uh, I've gone to the watch bits and read about them instead I'll just go to the interesting bits that I've had a look at and, uh, I'm guessing you guys can pause it to have a bit of a better look. Yeah, these, these clocks are amazing, these enamel clocks. Um, this is sort of in honor of, uh, I think it was Philip Stern, um, as he liked racing boats, and this has the few boats that he built in his life, and one, uh, I think he won this race seven times in 15 years. There's a 
it's a regatta race on, uh, uh, I think it was one of the big lakes in Geneva there or something. Uh, I've read it, I just, yeah, I'm trying to remember what it was all about. But um, yeah, these are actually uh, pictures of his uh, racing boats that he actually designed and helped um, build and design, yeah, and all that. And uh, yeah, over 15 years, he won it seven times, which is um, very impressive. There's some more pictures up here. That's one of them, I think it was in 1980. Um, this picture here is actually Philip on the outside there with the white hat. A little article that was done on him. Really cool stuff. This is the Great Wall of India. I haven't read that yet. Like I said, I just read the watch stuff. <laughs> I'll be honest, I haven't looked at, I haven't read anything else. Amazing photography. Sorry for the reflection, guys. This is amazing, the one-tenth of a second chronograph. Um, I think it has something like 30 new patents. Uh, I was reading up on it a bit. It's very technical the way it talks about it all. Uh, it's got all the patents down the bottom here. As you can see across the bottom of the pages. Yeah. Just a technical feat. A bit more, a bit more art here. I'll be honest, not my thing, not that stuff anyway. These are amazing. That's Charles Lindbergh there, I think. So I can't talk about everything, I was the video's just gonna go forever. No one wants to watch one that long. And um, I haven't read this, but these are some kind of cocktail shakers that are done in all these cool shapes. Really interesting. I'm sure my wife would love them. She likes a nice, she likes a nice cocktail. These are so cool. This is where it's at. I'm hoping to acquire one of these sometime. Yeah, even, even if it's over the next couple of years or whatever. I'm not sure if I just want to go, yeah, the more basic version. Or, you know, if you want to go the um, dual time with the, uh, I think it's an annual calendar. So um, this is the 5326G, and I'm pretty sure that's the case back for that one. It's got the it's got the micro rotor, so the case back is much nicer. This has the just the full size rotor in the back. But uh, yeah, very pricey. I think in Australian dollars, I think we're talking around a hundred grand here. I can't remember if it was a tad over a hundred. And I remember around the 70,000 for this. That is amazing. I get it. Sorry guys, the camera's not really set up well to look at it. But yeah, um, so the triple, yeah, triple push at chronograph the split second, that is an absolutely mad watch. Pretty sure it's got the enamel dial. Uh, uh, you know, you can only hope to achieve something like that in the future. It just, yeah, amazing pieces. 
This color drive is interesting. It has the hidden um, hinge. So from the front, you can't tell that it's got a hunter case back. See how the hinge is designed to be inside the case. Quite cool, unique. These are different depictions of, um, yeah, uh, comets flying through the sky from, you know, many years ago. I read a bit of this story, it's pretty interesting. What they thought they were and, yeah, how they used them to um, put fear in people and what have you, kind of like this one here. The heads and the swords. <laughs> it's a good way of, um, yeah, keeping the public scared. And at the back here, I just want to get to the, um, they've got a few auction results, sort of showcasing how, how well they're vintage watches are going. Here it is. Yeah, I found this quite interesting. Some beautiful examples on here. I'm really starting to like this stuff here. Um, I've actually been given a couple of books with these uh, sort of piece unique ones in here. Um, amazing stuff. Um, I'm wondering if it'll ever be available to, you know, if I can put my name down for one. Um, I wouldn't want something with butterflies, that's not my style. But um, there's a lot of different ones I've done over the time. Every year they do a few different ones. Uh, this year, they actually did quite a few different uh, animal, uh, animal themes. Um, even uh, things like um, chameleons, things like that, they're pretty cool. So I am actually gonna ask, what does it take to get one of them into the collection? And I'm actually not sure what they cost because they do not list the price on these. So that's about it. Do a write up on this reference 1436. <clears throat> Amazing piece. I'm sure that's almost impossible to get. But uh, that's it, guys. I actually have this book. The authorized dealer gave it to me. It's a um, beautiful, beautiful book. Very, uh, very large. I've only went through the first few pages. I haven't actually taken it out and had a proper look. But it is, um, it's, yeah, it's done by this uh, Nicholas Folks, but. Um, Patek obviously trust him to do their yeah, authorised biography, so it's pretty cool. Um, anyway, guys, it's starting to get to a long video, so again, um, yeah, the Amiga enthusiast, uh, yeah, I'm sure it's worth going to check out his channel and uh, yeah, give, give him a follow. So, until um, next time, guys, uh, take care. Bye-bye.